to the channel. Everybody, it is now Monday, I almost forgot what day it is. Back from Hawaii, which is why I have a nice tan. But I have a few things to do this week, and also, I don't have to work this week, which is rare. Of course there are jackhammers jackhammering away downstairs, classic New York City. So it's Monday morning now, I'm just doing some trading right now, and I have to go to, well, I don't have to go, but today is a big day, especially if you are Croatian. So today Croatia plays Spain in the final 16 round of the European Championships. And what better way to watch the game than watching it with some hardcore Croatian immigrants. So that's why I'm going to Queens to watch it with Andriana's father and a whole bunch of his Croatian friends because who else can just take time out of the day at noon on a Monday to watch a very important game. Everybody's working, all my friends are working, so might as well enjoy the nice Croatian game with Croatians. Oh, but first, I have to go all the way to Queens, I have to pick up my car, and then go watch the game. All right, so I am officially here, reunited with my car, and it's been sitting here for a while, and there is now all this bird crap all over it. But what do you do? So let me start her up. <sighs> Feels so good to be back in the car. The only problem is I have no idea how to work the AC. Oh, there it is. Whew. It is currently 93 degrees outside, and that was the longest Uber I've ever taken in my entire life. And I'm officially late for the game that starts right now. So I'm going to rush over to my father-in-law's house and hopefully catch the first five minutes of the game. All right, so that was a disaster of a game. Actually, it was really good. They scored two goals in the last six minutes to tie up the game, went to overtime, played another 30 minutes, and ended up losing by two goals to Spain. So everyone's disappointed. Nonetheless, what can you do? That's the way it goes. But I'm going to get a car wash now because my car has all that bird crap over it like I showed you, look at my window. That's lovely. So I get a car wash now. I'm gonna head back over to my father-in-law's for dinner tonight. Both of these. Were we supposed to have those as diet time? No. So remember when I told you that I hate bringing my car to the city because it's impossible to find any parking whatsoever? Well, look who just found the most premier parking spot. Not too shabby. It only took me about 10 minutes. How's the parking spot? I found it. I found it. Babe, I did. We found it and it's safe until, so loud. We found it and it's safe until Thursday and it's now Monday. So remember in my last video when I was talking about how you have to move your car back and forth? Well, I don't have to move it at all until Thursday. Okay, so now we're gonna go check up on the car. It's the next day. We're gonna see if it's still there. <laughs> she thinks I'm crazy. But I'm also about to go drop her off at work before I take a little trip over across the bridge to do some training. Still there. More importantly, no ticket. Okay, so officially made it to the training and by training, I'm doing the usual epic training which everybody who works in healthcare whether it be a PA, doctor, nurse, whatever, always has to do this epic training or the electronic medical records training. I have done this every single year for as long as I can remember. Did it for intern year, did it for residency, did it for fellowship, and now we're doing it in attending life. You cannot escape it. Sometimes you can test out of it because I've used this software for the better part of six years now, but they're not letting me do that. So I had to drive all the way out here and I still haven't told you where I'm going to be working and I probably will do a video entirely devoted to that later on. So I'll keep teasing it a little more, but I dropped in drawn off at work. Traffic was crazy, barely got to here on time. So I'm going to go get in here, do this, crank it out and hopefully get back to the city before traffic picks up again because it gets a little terrible. Guess who found another parking spot? Only took me about 15 minutes that time. And good morning. Andrana is joining me yet again. Yes. I didn't. <laughs> what? I 
didn't join you yesterday. Oh yeah, she joined me briefly yesterday. Let's address the elf in the room. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as I wore yesterday. That's because I only wore it for like two minutes. And uh, it's hot and it seemed like a good shirt to wear today. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done laundry. It's 7 a.m. Oh wait, 8 a.m. We are both headed. Watch out. Watch out for the dog pee. We are both headed across town, back where I was yesterday. I'll tell you why in just a second, but first, I have to get coffee in my car. Still here. Okay, so, sorry, I was walking, and Drana is going to get some goodies for our trip today, but we're heading all the way over to where I'm working. We have to go to the Audi dealership to pick up our tags for my car and her car. Then we're going to check out some of the imaging centers at the practice I'll be working with, meeting with my boss, and then we have to check on our apartment because there may be some issues going on with our new home, but we'll, we'll get to that when Andriana gets here and once we look at it. Stay tuned. Got the goods? Got the goods. All right, so we just met with my boss, uh, went to check out some of the imaging centers, uh, some of the places I'll be working in a few weeks now. And we just stopped by our apartment complex, so what, tell everybody what's going on with this apartment. So, the tentative move-in date is July 15th. Right. Michael starts work July 12th, so he may be living in a hotel. <laughs> for three days we don't know but they also said that if it doesn't pass all the inspections in that time frame that they may have to extend the move-in date to later in July so we don't know where we're going so basically I start working before I actually have a place to live the good thing is is that my apartment in Manhattan is still leased out until July 31st so I could commute here back and forth both ways which is like an hour and 15 minutes each way, which is annoying, but I may have no other choice. The good news though is last time we were here, the apartment complex said, I'm not gonna show you all of it for privacy reasons, but last time we were here was like literally desolate with construction gear everywhere. Yeah. And they said they let us know by the end of June, it is now July 1st, no one's let us know yet, but it's looking pretty, pretty promising. Pretty stable. Yeah, it literally looks pretty stable. And I still haven't told you where we're moving yet, but when should we tell him? When we move. <laughs> we'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll do like a move in New York video and I'll tell you exactly where we're moving to. But we're really excited about it. It's not in Manhattan anymore, unfortunately, but what can you do? So now that we got that discussed and all that good stuff, we were heading back to the city. I had to go back to my hospital, pick up some graduation gifts, my diploma, and drop off my badge. All right, everyone. So we are back in the city and we are looking for parking. The joys of having a car while living in the city. That's why we never did it. It's a blessing, um, blessing and a curse. Yes, unless you wanna pay $600 for a parking garage. Nope, nope. Nope. Anyway, so we're gonna end our vlog here. If you like to watch these day in the life of Dr. Cellini not being a doctor. Like and subscribe to his channel. Otherwise, he'll probably still continue to make these anyway. And subscribe to her channel. She'll post a video Michael shortly. thinks that I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Oh, we'll see, see. Comment below what you think, what video she should post first on her channel. I'm really curious to see what you guys wanna see first, the first video. Oh yeah, that would be interesting. Alrighty, we'll see you all on our next video together. Bye. Bye.